Hey guys, welcome to Hey Chris, What You Playing? And uh, I'm, I'm going to get this out there. there. There's already a whole bunch of episodes of Hey Chris, What You Playing? on the uh, on the agenda here. I've got them like um, pre uh, pre scheduled. That's the word I'm looking for. Pre shot and pre scheduled. So I mean they'll show up. Um, but but I wanted to try out the new software here, the the uh, open broadcast software. I want to check it out. I want to check out this green screen if I like to see how it works. We'll keep it. If I don't like it, we'll toss it. We'll go back to the old way of doing it, and I just won't ever do any more of these like this. But, you know, from playing around with it, looking at it, I like the way it looks. And I can do a little bit of um, almost like editing within the shooting in the moment. So um, I can at least add some stuff in. Uh, but tonight I decided to play a game called Manos, The Hands of Fate. And some of you out there, I'm hoping, your ears kind of perked up because you know... You're familiar with Manos, the Hands of Fate. Um, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Um, it is a terrible, terrible movie, but it is uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Comedy Gold is exactly what it is, and it's it's one of my favorite episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000. I actually think I mentioned it in uh, a coffee time later that's coming up. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> so unprofessional here, but anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, anyway, um, Man of Sands of Fate, terrible movie, great, um, Mystery Science Theater 3000, um, episode. So, somebody, I can't remember the company off the top of my head, forgive me, but, um, it is a, um, they, they took it, and they ran with the idea, and they turned it into a game, and, uh, the game is really good, it is true to the 8-bit form, and uh, Freak Zone Games, that's the name of the company. And it is, um, it's great. And there's a lot of fan service in terms of, like, uh, um, fans of the, 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 uh, the, not necessarily the movie, but the Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode. So, um, yeah. So, without further ado, let's, let's try to get to it. But, uh, first... <laughs> So I brought that back. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Um, it is true to an 8-bit style of game, and it's good to me. I enjoy it. Uh, I'll start a new game for you. And, and the premise of the, the movie is really weird. Um, it, it's really open-ended, and not, nothing's explained at all. But basically, a couple and their daughter and their dog... Are find themselves at this lodge in the middle of nowhere and uh, they meet the wonderful Torgo and uh, <laughs> comedy gold ensues if you ask me um, I'm, I'm actually playing this with a uh, Xbox controller and it works well I mean it, it's it's got kind of a um, uh, Nintendo style controls here um, one button shoot, one button jumps, that's all you need. And uh, it works really well. Feels good. As you can see, the look is really nice. There's some things in here that are not... I certainly don't remember from the... Well, not, not the episode, at least. That's the couple. Kiss it for five days straight. There's some really good jokes uh, in that episode. I know. You, you may get tired of hearing. I don't know that I'm going to make as many references as I did the first time I played through it and laughed at quite literally everything <laughs> as I played. Everything was hilarious to me. But, but uh, yeah. Also, I played through like half the first two levels or, or three levels or whatever and, and didn't know I could shoot the hands and get power-ups, so that's going to change this a little bit. Now i got to fight Torgo. The chilling Torgo thing. <laughs> you cannot stay here. The master would not approve. It's... Oh, God. 
guys, I, if you've not watched this, I, I, I'm going to have to put a link to that episode in the description. I've got to do it because you've got to watch it. And if you haven't watched Mission Science Theater 3000 at all, then there's obviously something wrong with you. And uh, you probably have very poor taste in everything. <laughs> so, yeah. That's that. So, yeah, look, there's Tom Servo right there, you know. I love it. I love that. Look, right here, Tom. It's, it's like I said, so much fan service, especially, you know, it's one of those things kind of like, um, I think of things like um, some of you are familiar with. Apparently, some of you are not, which is weird to me, but, um, like, like um, Nostalgia Critic, you know, he kind of put, um, the room on the map and it became incredibly successful and now they're actually shooting a movie about the movie which is weird but I mean it's what happened um, because the story of the movie being made is even it has nothing to do with this anyway but but you know sometimes things like uh, shows and stuff like that kind of give old kind of off the beaten path movies or games or things like that um, kind of a new lease on life, so to speak, like, uh, more people more interested in checking it out. I mean, you, you think about it, like, um, those of you that, that collect retro games, in particular Nintendo games, I've heard tell of, of, of stores that actually have, um, whole sections at, devoted solely to, um, oh, AVGN played this, um, or mentioned this in a review, it's now on the AVGN shelf, and it, like, jacks the price up. Like, I mean, right or wrong, I'm not going to say that. I will say that, I mean, it's kind of messed up to me, but my point is that sometimes things like that give games that, games and movies and things of that nature, um, like a new, <laughs> a new lease, you know? People are interested in it again all of a sudden. I did much better the first time I played through this. I like didn't mess up a whole lot. I didn't say I didn't mess up, I just said I didn't mess up a whole lot. I had a problem with the platforming parts. But now you're watching, so I'm, you know, a little more, uh, nervous. That's, that's something that's kind of, you know, I, I, I wish there was reference to in this. Well, there probably is as you get later on in the game. Please don't respawn. Yeah. Oh. That's a dirty pool right there, don't you think? And I think uh, I'm coming up on the boss battle here, which is a weird, weird boss battle. Got some extra lives here. It's a very strange, very difficult boss battle. To me. At least the first time I played it. The first time I played it, I had a hard time getting the timings right on the. Although the timings are a little different this time. I wish I had a turbo controller that really saved me some heart out here. And if I go further, all right. <laughs> they keep going back to the. God, you just gotta watch the movie. It's really hard to explain any of the jokes at all without completely ruining it for you. So go watch it. Just do it. None of this is actually in the movie. It doesn't matter. It still feels good. And it's a loving homage. It's not a, a faithful retelling. Some of these moments right here like that, I cannot stand platforming like that. Where 
You know, there's a lot of games out there that did this, you know, back in the day and whatnot that would get you hung up and like Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is, is really bad for this. Is they have those moments in that game where um, there are platforms that you can't hit because the ceiling is low and that there that section right there with the stalactites right here. Like if you're not jumping in the right spot, you're gonna get you're gonna get knocked down by. Uh, You're gonna get knocked back down. And these eyeballs are sucky. Piss me off so much, man. We'll play to a continue and we'll see what you think. <clears throat> and really the 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 you know, I mentioned this earlier in the in the talk here or in the episode. Um, it would be nice, you know, because I've got this new setup and I was just checking it out. Really, the reason, one of the reasons I thought about checking it out is because I thought about how Hey Chris, What You Playing could really work a little bit better as a stream, you know, as a live stream thing. I wouldn't even have to do a, you know, it could be a short stream, you know, it could be just as short as whatever. Um, I think I work better in short bursts anyway when it comes to, I'm going, um, I mean, screw it. Uh, I think I, I think it works. Some things I do work better in short bursts. I don't know. It's a thought. But then you got to commit to streaming, and you got to commit to finding the time to do it, and that's really hard. And whoa. Ooh. Not. <sighs> Watch me end up in a boss fight with like no health. Those stupid eyeballs. Crap! Maybe I got far enough that I got another checkpoint, maybe? Yeah. Like that. No. Oh my god. I'm sure this is in the movie. It probably got cut from the uh, episode. And if it ain't, it should be. Crap. That's it. That's game over. Anyway, I hope you dug it. Uh, that is, in fact, Manos, the, uh, Manos, the, uh, Hands of Fate. And, uh, you know, I hope you like this new layout. I'm, I'm just checking it out. And, uh, if you do dig, that's great. You can actually look right here. Let me see, how do I do this? This way, right here. There's all kinds of social media links for you here, including my Red Bubble, which is, I, I sell shirts there. Instagram, I'm going to have to put that link up. And, uh, Twitter, which is this way, Facebook. And my Steam account. Yeah, so I'm all there. Check me out. Anyway, that's it. Remember to rate, comment, and of course, subscribe as always. Thanks for watching.